Hello, and in today's tutorial, I shall be teaching you how to install Ray's Miniweb and Optifine for Minecraft 1.1 onto your Minecraft. First of all, we need to get to your .minecraft, which you can get to by typing in app data, percent app data percent, and then double click off .minecraft to install these mods. It's relatively simple. You just go in the bin, open up your Minecraft using 7-zip or WinRAW or whatever you like. Then open up the mod. Go to the side doing raise minimap first. Doesn't matter the order because these don't conflict. And just drag it across over into there. And then you get Optifine. And drag it across into there. And you are done or you should be done. That. Minecraft. Oops. And load up single player. This is a world which we'll be showing you later. And as you can see in the top right hand corner, Ray's minimap is working. To alter the zoom, you press Z. With 0.5 being the smallest, giving you a nice wide open area to 8% being the smallest, which is a bit of a well, weird thing. I don't know why you want to see that close, but ah well. And you get all these options in enabling, disabling, biome rendering, temperature rendering, humidity rendering, cave rendering, etc. Enable and disable death points, which basically means that if you die, it puts a waypoint there so you can go back to yourself. Load of options like square or round, Ray's or Zan's mini map. Zan was the previous owner. Different map position, map scale. How see through the map is scale and loads of interesting things. Then there's some options for here, and you can edit your waypoints. You just add one and put in the coordinates, move them as well. Um, then of course you can also press. No, not that. That's just, you can press X, and you'll get a large map, which helps you see stuff. And in Optifine, you get all sorts of options, like everything from here downwards is, is new options like you can turn off cloud well you can turn off clouds make them go faster and, and it basically alters a load of your visual output so that you can get higher FPS or better quality so that. it also lets you change texture pack in the middle of Minecraft which is a useful feature it turns animations on and off speeds up your debug info so yeah useful mods. Thanks for watching. That's it. See you next time when I think I'll be teaching you how to set up a server. Good night.